Welcome or welcome back. My name is Kendra. This is Readworthy. And today I'm going to talk about my TBR plans for September. Uh, by the time you watch this, I'm already going to be putting those plans in place, but you know, that's neither here or there. Just shh. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get right into this, all right? The first book that I plan on reading is Nettle and Bone. Um, this is a book by, I don't have it, I'm going to auto book this book. <laughs> it's by T. King Fisher, and it is a book club pick of a club that I'm part of. All, um, the things that I know about this, first off, it's the same author as the guy that wrote what Moves the Dead, which I read in August, which there will be a video, obviously, of my wrap-up for August. But I did read that book, and spoiler alerts, I really enjoyed it. I gave it five stars, What Moves the Dead, even though it's a really ugly cover. And so <laughs> I auto-booked that one, though, too, so it's so fine. But Nettle and Bone is a kind of like a, um, it's a fantasy book, but it's like, it's not like epic fantasy or anything like that by any means. It is about a girl who is a princess and her she has two older sisters and the first the oldest sister got married to a prince and died and the second sister ends up marrying that prince as is it's pretty much a peace a way of doing peace uh, so the king of the daughter of the girls, um, is trying to have peace with this other guy. So they're, she keeps shipping off his daughters to him. So that way they have peace between the two of them. Uh, so he ships off his second daughter and come to find out that, aha, the prince is evil and, uh, is hurting these girls. Uh, and so the main character, I don't remember her name, I don't know her name, uh, she finds this out and is on a quest to save her sister without um, messing up, like without causing any kind of war, wars um, or any other kind of controversy. She wants to kill the prince, but she's got to find a way to do it, you know, on the down low. Uh, but I do expect good things from this book because, like I said, I did read um, What Moves the Dead and I really, really enjoyed that book. So I think that I'll continue enjoying his books, hopefully. We'll see. I guess we'll test that out this month. Uh, the next book that is on my plans is Ruth Where the It Girl. And this book is also two. It counts for two um, of my book club picks. Two other different book clubs also picked this book. It's a new release. Okay, so this book is about two girls. They met in college. And the one of the girls' name is April. And apparently she's the it girl. She's like, you know... The purple one everyone wants to know, everyone wants to be around with. She's great. She's fantastic. Woohoo. Anyway, in the end, and then they like have a whole group of friends, these two girls. Okay. In the end of the semester, April is dead. So then, uh, and then it skips up. It has two timelines. And so later down the road, the other MC, uh, the other main character, Hannah, they find some, they find someone who found guilty for the murder and has put him away and his name is Neville and he is a guy who apparently dies in prison much later down the road um, in the aspect of timeline and that timeline is her finding out about that and then all being relieved be like okay finally that is all behind me I don't have to worry about this man ever again and then a journalist comes and says hey by the way that that guy didn't kill didn't kill your friend takes care of two of my book club picks so that's great I love that that way I can pick out more books that I, you know, personally want to read myself. But I'm, I'm very excited about this book anyway. I like Ruth Ware. I've read two of her books so far. Um, and so I, and I liked them both a great deal. So I'm expecting to like this one as well. I am also part of the Buzz Wordathon. It's on Goodreads. And um, the prompt, it's like a, pr the prompts to read certain kind of books because of this or because of that. And the prompt for September, it has to have the word dark or light or something around those lines in the title. 
Um, and so I'm going to pick my Dark Vanessa. So my Dark Vanessa is also two timelines, um, one from 2000, where Vanessa um, ends up having a relationship with her English teacher. Yay, her. Uh, she's only 15 years old, so the English teacher is 42. So there's that timeline. And then in 2017, that teacher is now getting in trouble, is actually getting it. Like nothing actually comes about it in the aspect of like, the, I guess, or at least what I'm, what I'm, I'm understanding. I haven't read the book yet, so I don't know. Uh, but what my understanding is nothing actually comes to the, like nothing is found out about the relationship back in 2000. But in 2017 is the second timeline. Obviously, Vanessa has grown up. He, the teacher has came to her because now he is being found out for a different relationship and he wants her help. Uh, so she's like, you know, having to relive that whole scenario situation. So we'll see how that goes. But it takes care of the prompt of dark because my dark Vanessa. And then the other ones, there's a couple more that I plan on reading this month because of my husband, uh, who is like pretty much like shoving these down my throat and telling me to read them. So I'm going to read them. Uh, one of them is called The Road by Cormac McCarthy. Uh, I, don't, I don't like this cover, <laughs> but you know, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, this, is a, this is a dystopian about a father and his, I think his son. Isn't it son? I think in the movie it's his daughter, but I think it's his son. But well, it's his kid. We'll just go with that. How about that? Um, it's his father and his child trying to live through the dispo whatever is happening in the world. I don't know because the back of this book does not tell you at all what it's about. I've seen the movie. Oh, which is, yeah, his son. Okay. I've seen the movie. It, it was okay for me. I'm not a big fan of extremely depressing stuff. But I am a fan of dystopian, so maybe the book will be, I mean, how often does the movie is better than book, you know what I'm saying? So maybe, the, obviously, maybe the book will be better. I just know, I'm a little wary about this only because Cormac McCarthy, I have read another book of his called The Good. Terry, I'm sure, will put it up here somewhere. And I hated it. <laughs> I just didn't like that writing style, which when I'm reading this, I don't think it, if it doesn't, when I'm like kind of like glancing through this book, it doesn't seem like it's going to be like that. It's kind of like a very poetic way of writing in that other book. And I didn't enjoy that at all. Like not even a little. So I'm hoping that's not the case here. So that way I can actually enjoy the book. Um, I'm pretty much testing Cormac's um, writing style, I guess you could say, because like I said, the the other book was not, I'm, I, it wasn't the story, the story was just fine, everything was fine about that part, it's just the way it was written, I, I just didn't like it at all, not even a little, so we'll see, we'll see, we're going to give it a second chance, you know, we'll go with this one, it is popular, so maybe there's a reason for that. And then he's he's also just finished another book and is over. He just finished reading, reading the book, and now he's listening to the book. So he must really love it. So we're gonna give it a chance. All I know is it's a horror. It's called Between Two Fires by Christopher. I can't even pronounce that. I'm not even gonna try. So th there's the last name. <laughs> ha! Sorry, Between Two Fires. So it apparently is a horror. And it's set back. The brutal night offered one final chance at salvation. Um, and I think it's going to be in, uh, this trio undertakes a journey. So there's going to be a priest, a knight, and a young girl, uh, orphaned young, young girl. I'll come back to you and let you know what it's actual about because I have no idea past that. Sorry about that. Uh, like I said, he's like really, really loving this book. And so he wants me to love it as well. And so I'm going to read it this month so that way I can either make him happy or I can disappoint the hell out of him. Let's see how it goes, okay? Uh, I'm also going to read a book of the month pick. Book of the month is a, which Ruth Ware is also a book of the month for me as well, but bo book of the month is a uh, subscription that you pick out a book once a month and then they send it to you. Uh, you get like five or six choices. They have their own little goals in there and 
one of the goals is to read so many books. Like I've already, there, there's three goals. If you're part of Book of the Month, you know what it is in the aspect of goal wise. But there's three goals. And if you hit those three goals, then there's an additional goal. And you get like a gift from Book of the Month if you hit these goals. So I hit those three goals. And then now there's a new one goal. And it's pretty much to read 20, I think it's 26 books or something like that. And I'm at 17 through Book of the Month, I think. Anyway, and so I'm going to continue. I'm going to try, try to get that as quickly as possible. So uh, I'm at 17, like I said, Ruth Rowe will be 18. And then The Collective by Alison Galen, maybe. And so this book is about women who their children have been killed in some way. And there's someone else behind of that killing, whether or not they were murdered or, you know, who knows. But this per, um, so anyway, one mother gets um, uh, in contact with the, they call themselves the collective. And they're like, hey, we know about your child. Join our club. Trust me. You'll, 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 if you want justice, if you want revenge, this is the way to go. And so she joins that club. That's all I got for you. But I like that idea. <laughs> I will, if, so, if something like that happened to my kid and someone contacted me, I would be jumping on board right away. So I guess we'll see how it would turn out for me if, if when I read this book. <laughs> um, and then another one I've decided to add on to this month, because that was enough, apparently. Uh, I read... The first book, Theft of Swords, well, technically, so this is a series called Ryera Revelations, and the first book is called Theft of Swords. I say the first book, but apparently when this, when this series came out in the beginning, it was um, six books, and then the people who published it, like, pushed those together. So the first Two, the first two books is into one book called The Theft of Swords. So the second book is called Rise of the Empire. And so uh, it's been, I think it was last year when I read Theft of Swords or the very beginning of this year. I can't remember which. And I really, really liked it a whole lot. I gave it four stars. Those, I guess you could call them those two books. This is the next set of two books. And so I'm going to read this now um because I'm starting I realized when I was looking through my books to see what I would want to read this upcoming month to make this video I realized that I'm starting I'm really good about reading a book from a series and then move on to something else and then coming back to that series and still remembering everything I'm really good about that and so but I'm realizing it's been a very very long time and so I'm starting to forget what Theft of Swords was a, like, what happened in it. And so I figured, okay, well, I better hurry up and read this. So that way I can, you know, keep my mind fresh on this series. So I do know, though, it's about two guys. Uh, and they are excellent, fantastic thieves. Hence the Theft of Swords from the first one. And uh, they are pretty much contracted to steal a sword. Really, it's a way to uh, get them in a location to make it look like they killed the king instead. The sword that they were supposed to steal, it seems so easy and simple, such an easy, simple job, and pays all this kinds of money. And so they're like, we might as well do it. Well, I mean, obviously, that's a big, huge hint that this is not a good job to do if it's that dang easy with that much money attached to it. But they try, they take the job anyway. And when they take the job, they get there and the, the king is dead and it looks like they did it, even though they didn't. So they're, you know, they're like, well, shit, <laughs> we're in trouble now. <laughs> so that's what the first book is about. Any character that I actually like instantly fell in love with, that they met on their way, their journey, uh, I was like, oh, I wonder if that guy is going to be joining in on their little gang here. And sure enough, they do. So... I, I really like the care. It's more so if you were to read these books, it's you're reading more so for the characters than the actual plot of the story. There is a plot. There is one. It's just that the characters do such a great job of making you want to know what happens to them. It's a fantasy um, series and I, I'm enjoying it so far and I don't want to forget too much about it. So I'm going to go ahead and continue the series with this volume now. So is that. And that's all that I have plans to read. I'm also planning on reading. I just ordered. I'm waiting for them to get here. Okay, so I also ordered 
One Piece uh, volumes 19, uh, 20, and 21. I'm waiting for them to come in. They're supposed to be here this Friday. So I'll probably read at least two of those. I still have, I still have volume 18 to read that I own that I have here. So I will, I will be reading that this month and I'll probably read at least another one, maybe um, the, the all three of them, who knows? I mean, they're so quick, it's not hard. So um, One Piece will definitely be in there as well. And that's all I got for you. So uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.